What did T decide about her surgery? Are you getting movies? Tanky. What's going on, you guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the channel. channel. It's your girl Prince here. And it's your girl Tanky. And we, we are the main eyes. Yo, guys, what is going on, y'all? We what just is wanted going to, on? like, <laughs> chop it up, check in with you guys, slow down the pace a little bit, and answer some of your burning questions. Yeah, we Before haven't we... done an update Q&A in such a long time, and it's... Why are you chopping? No, no, no you're good. No, you... <laughs> I felt like I just did a no, big no, chop on you. Yeah. Okay. But we wanted to do a Q&A for you guys because a lot has changed and we are always growing, elevating, and we always want to keep you guys in the loop. And you guys have some unanswered questions for us. So we are going to... Oh. No, I don't... Oh! <laughs> I was waiting for you to get that talking though, but I was about to say that. Yo, we almost about to hit 500,000 subscribers. Like, yo, that's mad people. It wasn't not so long ago, you guys, we were doing like, oh, let's get to 100K before May. And now we're like almost 500,000, which is like half a million. Half a mil. Crazy. But it's so awesome. So let's get into this Q&A. Um, let's get into the questions. Let me whip out the questions. Let's do this. Okay, so first question says, and these are from you guys. Opinions on your spouse watching corn. You know what corn is? Yeah. Y'all know what corn <laughs> is. If you don't know, then you don't know. You think we're gonna stick with the word corn instead of the real word? Yeah, we're gonna say corn. Opinions on your partner watching corn? Yeah. Do you, would you be upset if I was watching corn without you or like you know by myself? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know how I would feel because because it's not something that we watch. So I don't know how I would feel. I watch then, it. So what? How do you feel? What do you mean you watch it? I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to get an answer. I mean, like, hypothetically, like, oh, like, I, watch I, it, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how. I feel like I don't mind, like, what you do, like, in your spare time. But as long as, like, it's not an obsession and you're not, like, fantasizing over people over a screen, I feel yeah. like that can be kind of, like, a weird. I feel like to what extent? I'm not comfortable with it, but, you know, as long as I don't see it outside, out of mind. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I feel like it's to each his own, but I don't know, like, I don't really, I don't really, like, resonate with that no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, watching, not saying that I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, mm. with you if you wanted yeah. to catch a vibe, like, I'm cool with it, but it's not something I do on my free time, and I would be pretty shocked to know that you were doing it on your free time, too, so I'd be just shocked. I ain't got a lot of time, so I, I don't, just, that's what I'm saying, not, like, it's not, not time, time, the time to be dedicating <laughs> time to, like, watching that just off the rip, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm on, like... Spend time by myself chilling, bobbing. Like, I'm trying to do something productive. You know what I mean? I'm trying yeah, to do something. Yeah, corn is not productive. Corn is not productive. That's not going to get you nowhere. <laughs> like, the corn is corn is too right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, for real. Okay, next question. Your body doesn't even digest <clears throat> corn. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh wow, it really does. It really does. So any coin comes out in your book. Okay. Um. Next question <laughs> is: What characteristics do you both have that make you a good match? I would say. That's a good question. Everyone that you come across in life, you kind of like, they're either a mirror or a lesson, right? They're a mirror of you or okay. they're a lesson. Yeah. So I would definitely say that you have some of my characteristics for sure that I don't see in myself, that I don't acknowledge in myself. But I would definitely say traits that you have, nurturing, but in your own way, you're a gift giver, you like to do stuff for people and for me. A lot for me. <laughs> a lot for me. You're authentically yourself. I like that. <laughs> hey. Okay, go. That was Aww. sweet. Go. Yes, I am. Shit, what was the question? <laughs> I kind of forgot the question halfway through as well. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Oh, um, it's because I was trying to get deep and then yeah, I just you, went you too deep. You guys too deep. Went too deep. Yeah, you got deep. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says. What characteristics do you have? Oh, completely missed the question. What characteristics do you both have that make you a good match? <laughs> <laughs> We completely we went on me. I went whoop over the question. Okay, what characteristic traits do you have that makes you a good match for Pete? Um, I'm nurturing, and I think that you need that. Facts. I listen. Listen is crazy. <laughs> He's kind of a given, huh? Dude, listen, I listen. Can you stop <laughs> <it> around? <laughs> I listen. I listen. Sound like no, but I listen to understand. You know what I mean? I don't just. So, I don't just listen to you or hear you and you, you're speaking and I'm not listening to you and not understanding you. So okay. I feel like I understand you. Okay, for sure. Um, understanding. Very understanding. I definitely agree with that, especially nurturing. Like, oof. 
that's my shit. Like, you do that so effortlessly, so that's a vibe. For me, I would say my emotional intelligence Ooh. is a good trait. Yes. Oh yes, I like that. I think the, my protective instinct oh, is a good trait. It's a good trait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that makes us a good match. Mm -hmm. And I also think that my experience and wisdom as well. Mm. And for you, I would add like your free spirit, your fearlessness. <coughs> Can somebody get this girl a water? Fucking Doritos, bro. Nobody <laughs> told you to eat Doritos. <laughs> Those are good ones. Those though. are good ones. We have, I think we have good traits that match each other, complement each other well. Very, very well. You're not even doing it right. <laughs> I missed it one more time. Ooh! She doesn't even know the height. One more time. Someone said, so I love y'all, but I am intrigued. This one is for you. Intrigued. Is your birth name Prince or Princess? Not trying to be funny. Prince or princess. I think a lot crazy. of people get this confused, but how can you get it confused? Cause like let's clear it up. Prince and princess are two different let's things. Let's clear it right? up. Let's clear it up. Let's clear it up right right now. Okay, yeah. Let's clear it up right now. So if you don't know what my name is, because I go by <laughs> Big P. You feel me? Big P to world. Wait, she has a lot of alter ego. Um, you know, I go by <laughs> Prince, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And if you really know the vibes, you may know who she Shaha is, you know what I'm saying? But that's for the like small percentage of y'all. But it, neither of those are my first name, okay? So baby, what's my first name? What's my legitimate first name? Yeah, legit, little, ah, don't tell him, 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 don't tell him. I can't even get my words out. Not telling you guys. If you know, you know, you can drop it down below and help the others figure it out. What the hell? Tell them. No, I'm not telling them. They're gonna look in the comments and find I wanna see who knows. But our names are kind of all over our social media, like Prince and Tati. Oh, I just said it. No, but they wanna know my first name, like. I feel like only a small percentage of you actually know her first name too, which is like, how did you even know that? Yeah, so I'm not going to But sometimes you, like, in videos when I, like you get me hot in a prank, I will say your real you name. Yeah, yeah. Your your government. Yeah, when I'm in trouble. In your trouble. Ooh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> next one is how does Prince handle men hitting on Tati? <laughs> sit down. This is me. Look, sit down. That's please. how I do it. I get I get crazy. I get you don't actually need to do all right of that. I get right in my, so get, you right don't in my do stance, y'all. Really? You know what I'm saying? Then I grab my... <laughs> <laughs> you don't do any of that. Let's just be honest. Yo, I be toughening up. What you mean? I be like... No. G, I be G looking them, looking them dudes in their face like... The thing is, I feel like I don't see your reaction when Hello. people do anything. And I feel like you don't say anything just because I feel like it's worse if you were to then get involved. When yeah. it can just be like ignored, you know? I feel like if you give a retaliation, if you give a reaction, you get a reaction. You gotta assess every situation, okay? For, and this is for all of my studs out there, so listen up, you feel me? You have to be able to assess every situation. You get what I'm saying? And you don't want to put yourself in harm's way by acting too macho, you know what I mean? So I'm never trying to act what? too macho. What? <laughs> Macho is macho. like Macho is like tough guy, especially for us smaller studs. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably six and a half. You know what I mean? Like dude could be like one, two, stock diesel. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna press up on him. But if it's like a little nerdy looking, like short dude that I that I that I feel like so you're picking at the little ones. I wouldn't pick at nobody. And again, it just depends on the the, the, the time and the day. You know? yeah. Sometimes I say stuff because it's just I don't know. Like sometimes it's it just, just like it just rub me the wrong yeah. way. And I might already be having a bad day, so I might say something like, "Like, yo, you see something you like?" Or, or I don't know. I might say something. You know I, mean? I might do a little check, like because sometimes it's like, let's say we just leave in the grocery store, and you're walking in front of me, and a dude walking this way. Like the other day, somebody almost got hit by my car because he was he's coming out the gas station, and he's walking, and he's like this, walking behind the car, and I'm backing up, and I was trying to yell at him out the window, like, "I'm about to hit you. You busy staring at my girl." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But okay, okay. not in a way, not in a way where I get not, not in a way where I get upset or anything. But if it rubbed me the wrong way, I might want to say something. But nine times out of ten, I don't say nothing. Sometimes I laugh, you know what I mean? But because I ain't like I'm not concerned not to sound cocky or but you know what I mean? Next like, question, P. You feel Let's, me? We just I get we what know I'm saying. Now. Okay, cool. Just make it short, we're good. Okay, so next question is how do you guys do it? I mean, like, stay strong and de and determine to do this life thing together. 
So how do we stay strong in the marriage and determine that we want to do life together? I think because we're aligned and we both kind of have the same vision and we both want the same type of lifestyle and all of our kind of dreams, goals, aspirations kind of aligned when we met. So we kind of just took off from there. And when you're aligned with somebody, I feel like everything is like check, 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 green check. Flag, green flag, yeah, green flag, you green never flag, have to question their, their purity, motives. their right. motives, anything. I feel like, yeah. That's, yeah, I think you hit that spot on and I always say this and I say that, you know, like when you get into a relationship with someone, you're choosing them. You know what I mean? At the beginning, you may do things out of your character to, to get this person. And then when you get this person, you may stop doing those things. And I think the thing is with us is we, we don't stop doing those things. We never stop uh -huh. learning each other. We never stop trying <laughs> to elevate ourselves intentionally, you know what I mean? So we could just be better individuals for ourselves and then for each other. But but I think that's it right there is that we just choose each other like I choose her even when emotions are high I choose her even when I'm upset like so we just have like these boundaries it's that we a don't mutual cross. understanding yeah like so, we get it like it, it, there's never gonna be a time in. where we okay I'm out there's not ain't none of yeah Sign to a no, not doing that. <laughs> exactly, and the love is just mutual, so I feel like exactly it's easy. It, when you have that understanding and when you have that foundation, it's very easy to keep going when shit gets hard, when shit gets tough, because everybody gonna go. We, we You're all so go deep. Through. That, but that's some real shit though. No, I know. You know I, mean? that's, I didn't mean to get too deep, but free gems. No, there's a good gem. It's a good gem. Okay, because we, we have a few questions. We have so, a lot. Okay, well, hit me with the next question already. Okay, next question is What would you say is the best way to upgrade your life? Reading books. I got a couple ways reading books, working out, meditating, journaling. A lot, yeah, mine are a lot of the same. I would say meditating, working out, flexing on hobbies. Um, and things that, you know, set your heart on fire. I would also say spending time alone um, and not always with people. And yeah, and then meditating, journaling, all that good stuff. Definitely to upgrade For your life. Sure. I feel like that's how we upgraded our life. Yeah. And upgraded, like we had to upgrade our mind before our life then upgraded with it. 100%. So, yeah. Yeah, every time you try to, every time you, you try to achieve something or level up in life, like you have to, you have to, you have to <laughs> level up in your, your mind, your body, your spirit, well before you can like manifest the level up. You gotta, you gotta know it, you gotta believe it, you gotta seek it, and, and you shall find it. it. Yeah, see it too. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> okay, next question is, how do you balance and support each other's dreams while pursuing your own? I think this was, this one is very simple. Like a Nike say, just do it. <laughs> just do it. But for somebody who doesn't have the source and doesn't have the remedy, um, I would definitely say giving each other space when they are trying to focus on doing their own thing. I think that's what we've learned a lot in this marriage is we have to give each other space. Like when she wants to focus on her personal things, we got, we got to separate. And same with me, because I can't have her opinion and she can't have my opinion on whatever she has got going on. So she can just go by herself. Yeah, I think you that, know, that's, yeah. no, that's a big, that's definitely a big part of it is creating <laughs> that space for me to, you know, have that time to figure out some of my own shit and vice versa. Yeah. I would say also holding each other accountable, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because we're like each other's accountability partners. So if I say I'm gonna do something and I break that promise to myself, baby is here to nudge me and say, because she believes in my dreams as much as I do, you know what I mean? And she's the only person on the planet that knows my dreams and, and everything that I personally want out of this life for myself. So she has the highest level of support for me. So accountability. You get me? So yeah, if I say I'm gonna do something for myself and I don't do it, she gonna remind me and vice versa. So I would say those two things. Did that answer the question? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> but it was a very long Y'all get it answer. though, right? Y'all get it though. What did T decide about her surgery? Oh, what about the surgery? Are we getting boobies? Are you getting boobies? Am I getting boobies? You getting boobies? What's going on? Cause I wanna know too, y'all. So I'm gonna sit back and listen. So after I went to swim week and everything like that, like I was kind of like in the middle about it and I was kind of contemplating like, okay, do I wanna do this? Because like in the model industry, as you guys like may or may not know, like there's not a lot of girls that have, you know, big massive boobs or whatever like that. But I feel like I'm back at a place where I'm like, I wanna go through with this. Like, because it's something that's just been on my mind constantly. 
and I feel like because I keep thinking about it, I think I definitely want to go through with it. And I know a lot of you guys won't agree with me, you know what I mean? But I think it's just something I want to do and... But when, I don't know. When I'm gonna do it, I don't know. I still just have to figure it out. You know? You know? What? <laughs> you know? You know? I know. I do have to figure it out. I don't know yet. But I, I do, I do wanna go through with it. I do. Next question. Would you say you are where you want to be in life or do you want more? I see baby's new nails. These shits are bussin'. You like them? You've been looking at them? I love these nails, yeah. They're so tiny. Guys, do you remember when I used to wear like big, mm. chunky... Big old nails. It's corn. Don't look. I bet. I bet. Those nails are sexy. Okay, you're getting off topic. So, All right. do you feel like you're happy about where we are in life and do you want more? Oh my god, do we want more? We want... Tons more. We want it all, like, we, yes, we want more. We want to always be chasing more until, you know what I mean? In some which way, shape, or form, always chasing elevation, always chasing that next level. Guys, we're honestly, we're babies in this game. You know what I mean? We're really babies in this game. We haven't even been doing it for four years yet, and it hasn't even been two years full time for me. Yeah. Off of the corporate America, so yeah. we're still young in this. We got a long way to go. We got a lot to learn, and we have a lot to accomplish. And really, we're just scratching the surface. So, mm -hmm. do we want more? We want more. Are we That's grateful it. to be where we currently are? Are we grateful for the lessons? Are we grateful for the experiences? And are we grateful for everything that we've learned and everything we've built thus far? You damn right. Okay, you answered it. You answered the question for me. I want more. Of course. For sure. Because we, you, enough is never enough. Although that can sound like a little selfish, enough is never enough. Why? Why, why should we settle for it? enough? We, if you have the ability, ability to to create something great for yourself, you gotta go. You gotta see it through. That's it. Gotta see it. Gotta through, see it through. Like, why should we? Nah. Sorry, I'm just. Gotta see it through. Gotta see it through, my boy. Gotta see it through, my boy. I get passionate about that. You feel me? Cause. And, and I hope you guys get passionate about the shit that you're trying to achieve in your life as well. Like, you feel me? Like, I hope you get passionate about wanting more. Because if you ain't passionate about wanting more... How did we meet? I like it when you tell a story, baby, or how, <sighs> how the universe put... Okay, so I'm going to make it short and sweet because the story is kind of long. And I feel like we tell this story so often because people are always asking about our story. But basically... But we want to make sure that we want to make sure that we answer it because we want to make sure that the new people know. Are you, are you talking to me? I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Baby, like, baby, I'm like, I want to make sure. I want to make. I want to make sure that you guys. I'm do, gonna. You know, cause it's, we grown with like we're getting big, like we're getting colossal. <gasps> Half a million is a lot of people, like. It is. So, like, you know what I'm saying? So to the new folks. This is the story. This is the story. Once upon a time, there was a girl that lived in England. Her name was Tati. Hey. And then there was a prince, and she lived in America. <laughs> Tati came across Prince on Instagram and thought she was a fine Prince Charlie. <laughs> Um, and then basically I had started communication with Prince. I told her she was beautiful. That's all I said basically, <laughs> is that she was beautiful. She responded to me. She said I was beautiful as well. We kind of exchanged, you know, we exchanged some messages before she asked me for my number or you gave me your number. But then we started like texting. She asked to FaceTime me. I FaceTimed her. We kind of hit it off like straight away. And then after that, I flew out to America like a month after us speaking. After that, I came here and I stayed for two weeks. I extended my stay because we were just so in love. I mean, the rest is kind of history. We kind of like, I stayed in America, I stayed with her. We kind of like built everything from the ground up and that's kind of like how our story went. And yeah, it's like in like detail, detail, you can go back to our first ever YouTube video. You'll be able to get the, the juicy deets. But juicy deets. That's kind of how it happened. First it was YouTube video like real. a fairy tale. And it still is like a fairy yeah. tale. You want my fairy tale wifey. Aww. My baby. Aww. 
I think we did all the questions. We did all the questions? I think so. It's perfect. I know. It ended great. Great way to end it. Yes. Well, that was the last question. Guess that's it, guys. Make sure that you guys are following us across all social media platforms, okay? We're getting ready to turn it up. You feel me? We're getting ready to turn it up. So make sure that you guys stay tuned and keep your sub bell on or turn it on if it's not on and keep it on when you get it on so that you can know when we come on. Exactly. I could have been a poet. I know that was really good. Fuck. And you know it. Oh, my wife is a poet too. Who knew? We'll catch y'all in the next video. You yeah, dig. Mwah.